Hey guys, I'm Azzy. I'm Daniel. I'm Javier. I'm Jared. And this is the very first episode of Hash It Out with, with Scout. Scout. So how are you guys doing today? I'm good too. I'm great. Great, great. Yeah, yeah. Have a good weekend. Busy, busy weekend, but I think it's more or less winding down to on a Sunday afternoon. Nice, nice, nice. I kind of celebrated my best friend's birthday yesterday, so my voice is like fucking raspy, but yeah. it's okay. It's quite the, uh, the morning voice. Went for a, <laughs> you went for a drink? Uh, many drinks. <laughs> <laughs> same, same, same. I just went to drink yesterday too. Serious? Yeah. I think I'm the only one who didn't drink yesterday. Yeah, same. I'm, I was on duty. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, okay, so I think the topic that we're talking about today is one sign that you're going to get dumped. Very interesting. interesting. What do you all yeah. think? Let's start with Daniel, what are your take on this? So I feel like if you are about to get dumped, is when you feel like there's lesser effort coming from one another party. Mm-hmm. Right? You know usually when you really love someone, right, you would mm. like to, you know, send texts like more often with them. But you know, as you feel like there's a distance, you can feel it like maybe they will send short texts. Or the replies or so. Yeah, yeah the replies. Yeah, yeah. Then you'll be like a, a little bit distant. Then you want mm-hmm. to meet. Then you'll be like giving like so many excuses. Right. Yeah, I, got, yeah. I, got, I got to walk the dog even though the dog is sleeping and all that. Yeah. Even though they don't have <laughs> a dog. <laughs> like, yeah. like, it's dog. like really bullshit. La. It's yeah. really like that. I mean, I have a lot of friends who are also experiencing this. Right. So mm. it's like, yeah. So I think we got a couple of uh, interesting answers from our followers. So maybe we can start with David. Okay, la, so what I get got gotten from Instagram is like, which I think one is like quite truth when they stop replying you as fast as they did last time classic yeah. personally for me like if i'm interested in someone i will reply her like very fast very la. Fast. i want like yeah. you know play hard to get and then <laughs> then like reply her slowly yeah. i think play hard to get is super immature yeah. by the way so like if you want it just show it yeah <laughs> right right, right. right. you show interest that. La, so she yeah. reply you fast and i'll reply her fast i think it comes down to communication mm. like when i'm in talking stages and i know that i'm not going to reply so fast i'm going to be like hey i might be busy today mm. like it really yeah. just comes down to much <coughs> communication i feel yeah yeah, yeah. 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 So, right that's very important still got quite a few which some is like quite bs la. So, <laughs> let's move like on. what like what like what why never ask me i expert i mean we are this, technically asking so like yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, 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 my, but this this friend of mine really got right. dumb a lot of time now so he's really <laughs> an expert and everybody, exposing yeah yes, everybody yeah. knows it yeah <laughs> well, since we're on the topic of answer that's not exactly uh it's just I, I for friend, the fun, i have yeah, one friend cool. who, who okay he says i eat ass during lunch but ass eating time is usually dinner time what does that even fucking mean yeah. <laughs> so it, it, what the it, fuck what? is that i guess what, what he means fuck? is that basically example you say okay if i have a yoga class at usually it's at 6 p.m yeah and then you tell him oh sorry i have my yoga class at three today uh-huh. so you know you know that like you know your, the yoga class is at six right yeah Why is it at three all of a sudden mm. so i guess that's what my friend is trying to say here uh-huh. mm. so a change of routine oh, like sudden, uh, like maybe sudden, they just wanted yeah. to change that routine yeah, yeah uh, <laughs> Or could be as well. Yeah. yeah. I feel like that's an expectation thing. Like, you can't expect someone to stay the same like, for the entire time. Like, what if I want my yoga class to be 3 p.m.? It's right. fine. Like, it doesn't mean I don't like you. I just want my yoga earlier. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. fair. You got an entry or not? My entry, one of them, a bit too, a bit stupid. <laughs> why, why, why? Go for it, man. Yeah. A bit ridiculous and it's a bit no ling. Uh. Okay, just for fun. Uh, listen. Uh. When they stop peeing in your mouth. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, so there's this king like, called bro, golden shower. Yeah, golden shower. <laughs> it's called golden yeah, shower. I I'm, think I'm that really means sh- yeah, I'm really shit. Like yeah. I'm really shit when I receive this. I'm like, what? It's not the golden shower. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Anyways, I have this very good entry. <laughs> Fucking golden yeah. shower suddenly. Okay. okay. Shower. Anyways, time to Out pivot nowhere. back. Oh no. <laughs> Yeah. So I have this entry from a very good friend of mine, Dai Dot Anarate. She told me about this subreddit thread where a woman has her husband refill her favorite cereal every time it's getting low. So like at the end of the week, she'll see her cereal going higher and higher and she'll be like, oh, my husband still cares about me. Yeah. And it's just an unspoken thing for about a decade, you know. Mm-hmm. And then she was so sad at the court because she was like, I knew the divorce was coming when my cereal stopped filling up. Like it's such a minuscule, painful thing that you can't even... You can't even fault them for like obviously she cannot be insane and be like, hey, why you stop feeling my right. fucking cereal, right? Obviously right. she cannot be like, what the fuck is my cereal, right? <laughs> so like it's just like about the small efforts, you know what I mean? Yeah. But I mean if this kind of thing is like a one-time thing, right? I think yeah. 
there's a chance he might forget about it la. but <laughs> yeah. if it's like a continuous thing then yeah, yeah. it's like really yeah, it's he, sh- he lost interest like it's pretty obvious yeah. that he lost I think especially when, when someone's about to get dumb they tend to pick up on really small details yeah, yeah. 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 like this mm-hmm. yeah it happens it happens mm. a friend of mine uh, said as well um, you know their partner grows distant yeah. even like okay sometimes when I don't know if this ha- happened to you guys before but mm-hmm. you could send them a couple of messages right yeah. and they only reply to the most recent one mm. Mm. Oh, so yes. the, the previous few they just ignore oh that's damn mm. annoying yeah, that's eh. very annoying <laughs> That's damn annoying. Yeah, yeah, like, do, you not, do you not get Read, the like? Yeah. Is this a multiple choice question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you yeah, invalidating yeah. everything else I yeah, said? Mm. I have this other entry. She was like, when they stop communicating their needs, and mm. I feel like not even in the talking stage, but like in like a long term relationship or any relationship, mm. when your partner stops telling you what they need, right? I think that's when they give up on you, mm. right? Like you invalidated them. You never adhere to their needs. Right. They're just like, you know what? I don't need to tell you anymore. Mm. I'm gonna leave you sooner or later, anyways. Yeah, and I think just came up. Like, because, uh, okay, I follow a lot of meme pages on Instagram. <laughs> There's one meme that came up, which I don't know if you guys can relate, but they said when your, your loved one, the other party, starts posting themselves more on, on social media, when they're not the kind that you know to post a lot, uh-huh, and they're very uh-huh. under the radar, mm. then out of nowhere, they start posting selfies, mm. uh, outfits, and all that. She's getting herself, she or he could be both. Yeah. Getting themselves ready to to face the fact that okay, I'm gonna probably dump this person and be single again. Yeah. So since I'm gonna be single, I'm gonna yeah. start hunting. Hunting. I'll yeah. start fishing, fishing. again. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And what do you guys think of that? Could be, could be the guy just overthinking or the girl overthinking? Or I feel like that as a statement kind of sets the expectation that oh, if I act like this, means I'm acting like I'm single. So if I'm in a relationship, I should not be posting myself. I should mm-hmm. not let people hype me up, right. which shouldn't be the case. I feel like you should always love yourself yeah, and yeah, be yeah, hyped sure. up yeah. regardless of being in a relationship. I feel like it really it's more like depends how you look at things lah. Mm. Yeah. yeah you suddenly feel good that day you want to post yourself then yeah There's exactly nothing yeah. wrong with it right. feeling yourself yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. imagine posting a fire ass selfie right and being like oh my god I look so good today I want to post <laughs> yeah. and then suddenly your boyfriend is like baby you want to leave me up <laughs> bro I'll be like excuse me what the fuck <laughs> I have friends who are, yeah, yeah, the boyfriend yeah. is like that you know? yeah, yeah, that's yeah. insane it's eh? crazy it's really that's crazy, crazy. Yeah. ask them child yeah. Yeah. it's yeah. terrible <laughs> so I have one more input from I am Tura he leave. He said was when they become less interested and co- and re- and give and reply cool messages. Uh. Mm-hmm. So this kind is like small, like it's all the red flags to like getting dumb. Yeah, to getting dumb or like I feel like yeah. Or like mm-hmm. knowing that person is not interested in you anymore. Yeah, yeah. 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 So yeah. she won't be curious about you anymore. Mm-hmm. And like it's all these replies or all the like, cool replies are like, okay. Cool can the other thing is starting fights out of nowhere, like over the little things. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, could be as simple as um, I don't know. Oh, uh, today I met this guy in the in the gym. Mm-hmm. He's very rude. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, he, was being, he was being a jackass. And then instead of you know instead of saying, yeah, like why he shouldn't have done that, she instead says, uh, yeah, like like why are you being so caught up with this? You know. Yeah, it's clearly. Or sometimes you will cite the person. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 right. correct. So yeah. you're like, wait, wait a minute, you're supposed to be on my side. That's right, damn annoying. Yeah, yeah, why yeah, are you trying to play devil's advocate yeah, here? Yeah, like, yeah, what the yeah, hell? You're yeah. supposed to agree with me. Correct. So yeah, starting fights out of nowhere. It's also yeah. another side. Yeah. I actually have this entry from Faisana and she said awkwardness. Mm. It's just one word, but I think it means a lot. Like, I feel like when you're out with someone who you're already comfortable with and familiar with, then suddenly it starts being awkward, right? It's Mm. like, why are the vibes different? Yeah. yeah. Mm. The energy is different, and I feel like both people can feel it. Unless your EQ is on the floor, lah. But you can definitely feel it if it's like yeah. awkward again. Awkwardness. You know? uh. Why? What do you all think about awkwardness? I think awkwardness comes comes in because mm. both parties, right, know that something's wrong, mm. and that uh, something's wrong. They don't they don't want to address it. So when they meet, right, they are just trying to cover it up. You know, and mm-hmm. that's when they become awkward, like strangers again. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. So I got this entry from Lucifer. So <laughs> what what he said was not getting se- sex slash ghosted throughout the day. Oh. What do you think on this? Okay, I wouldn't say not getting sex is a sign that you're gonna get dumped. Mm. Maybe the person just doesn't feel like, feel like it, you it, know, yeah. there's a lot of factors to yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why yeah. it's quite and ghosted throughout the day, she might be busy la, if you mm. all like okay, if really throughout the day then there might be a chance that she lost interest in you. Mm. Like mm. there's some point in time that she she'll be free but like she don't want to reply. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like quite okay, so mm. if you think she's busy, right? Mm. But then we see the other person on social media. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> that's a slap in the yeah. face. Yeah, <laughs> slap yeah, yeah it's like a slap in the face. So yeah. like you're annoying yeah. your papa. So yeah. 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 Another thing, yeah. 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 Then another one is Champion Eun. He said, if you have to look out for signs, then I'm sorry you are not ready to be in a relationship. Honestly, I kind of agree. Because right, like let's say both people are ready to be in the relationship, mm. they will both communicate about it. Mm. Like today I'm not feeling like texting. And it's mm. fair. Like some people they yeah. wanna post on social media without right. texting someone. Mm. And if you're mature enough you will communicate. That. No, but I feel like this mm. answer isn't like very valid. It's like mm-hmm. 
if you are not ready but what if this couple have really been like in a relationship for like quite a few years this answer I don't really think is valid lah but I feel like, like for this question itself if yeah. I if I got up to a point where mm. I had to look for signs I wouldn't even look for them anymore I'd just be like is something going on mm, mm, like mm. I would trust you enough to tell me if exactly. something is going yeah, on since yeah. you guys have been together mm. for a few years or something yeah like, exactly yeah. you guys have a trust or something mm. Yeah. Next one is uh, from Chong Tak. No contact for a long period of time, which is ghosting, which which was already really mentioned. That one right? you dumped already, bro. Yes. <laughs> and then <laughs> that's not a sign, bro. You dumped. <laughs> then from Rie Z, he said uh, ghosting. From Shanice, he said gets ghosted. So most of my answer is like ghosting, ghosting, mm-hmm. ghosting. Yeah. I feel like I feel like I kind of want to point out, right? It's so sad how so many of these entries are so repetitive because like everyone feels the same thing. Feels the same way. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah so it kind of makes you wonder like it's quite sad that everyone mm. feels the same way, but it's also like do we kind of normalize ghosting as a way to dump someone? <laughs> and we start thinking like it's not as terrible as it I actually don't, is. I don't feel like it's normalizing, but more like yeah. I feel like how individual take 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 on it lah, yeah. dumping someone. Like you don't really go and tell tell around people like saying oh I go I actually dump him by ghosting him. I feel like it's an individual kind of thing, and it's not like a normalized kind of thing. Right. We all have different opinion lah, so. Yeah. I feel like if you've been talking for more than a week mm. on the daily, then I think they deserve more than just ghosting lah. For sure. Uh, yeah, yeah, for right. sure lah, for sure, yeah. Yeah. But so it's a mutual respect thing. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's really respect. just a respect thing, not even mm. about feelings anymore. Then from John WJ, he, he said, uh, we need to talk. It depends on the talk lah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It could be a lot of things talking. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. this isn't like really <laughs> valid. Talk. What do you want to eat later? Yeah. 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 Really valid as well. Because Unless... what if the other party don't want to talk? But we need no. To... <laughs> no, no, but we need we need to talk. Yeah. Like we need to talk, right? It really like it's quite scary to receive this kind of message. Mm. Like personally to me. Oh, right. Like yeah, yeah, whenever yeah. she tell me like, oh, we need to talk. <laughs> like shit. Why is she like yeah. Yeah. I just tell her. What do you mean by if they say we need to talk? Then no. I don't wanna talk. Wanna break up with me? No, you can't. Yeah. But you know like uh, I have a um, friend right So technically This guy Have been actually um, They have been talking terms For like 2 months mm-hmm. Okay Yeah mm-hmm. But technically right uh, Okay so Okay she's actually not interested In him already okay. Because of Some of the red flags That he have given right, 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 right. So I mean She just wanna like Ghost him ah. Yeah mm-hmm. you know But Technically, okay, this guy, okay, she did try to explain her mm. part that she she's really not interested in him really. Yeah. Yeah. But okay, this guy kid wants to like, you know, force her to talk. Talk it out. Mm. Yeah. Uh, so what uh, is like your point? My my take ah. Uh, she don't wanna say anything, right? But the guy keep wanting her the to The guy like, keep forcing, yeah. It's not forcing lah, but yeah. it sometimes it gets a little bit annoying, like if the girl don't want to say anything. Mm. Like personally, I have that kind of experience also, so oh, I yeah. know lah. Like mm. you give her, like all she wants is her space. Mm. Yeah, but yeah. I feel like whatever like happened on that day, I feel like try to like solve it out and not like because over time, right? This thing will just get worse each day lah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And then like personally, I'm also like kind of like like that bot that mm. the, the the friend of yours. But okay, so this friend, but I mean this friend have already told like him like what is actually happening already. Mm-hmm. Mm. So oh, like so he still want he. Like, more answers. More answers. But the oh, answer is already dif- given. That's different, really. different, different. Yeah, and that's just like, being annoying. Yeah, yeah, just and kinda annoying. he went to humiliate all <laughs> Uh, her families. That's not fair. Yeah. That's then you, not got fair. The, you got a green card to ghost. Yeah. Then, then you can really yeah. ghost. If you're an asshole, it's okay to ghost. Just fuck ghost off. Yeah. 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 Dude, it's really crazy. Yeah. It's really crazy. Talking shit is one thing, right? Yeah. But don't ever touch someone's family. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. That's yeah. next fucking level already. Yeah. 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 Whoever that guy is, you can just fuck off. <laughs> yeah, for real. What the fuck? Yeah, what the fuck you think you ask, yeah, huh? Go after her family or Jack, just say yeah and then uh, like one time she, he just like uh, like caught my friend a hypocrite just because uh, she already explained to uh, him like she don't want it anymore mm. like she yeah. don't want this anymore already. so she said already yeah she already said already. oh my she god want if she said already right what the fuck else does he want right. mm. yeah, it's accept quite, it bro yeah, it's, it's crazy it's really crazy yeah. I, I've known I've known both mm. uh, heard stories of both guys and girls that are mm. very persistent even though mm. one party says okay I'm not interested please stop you know yeah and it's just yeah. ridiculous to the point where I think it, it becomes very um, very scary I mm. think for yeah, it's very especially scary. if, it, if it's, it's a bit creepy also yeah, yeah, especially yeah. if it's a guy going after a girl mm. like, yeah. like I heard one story where the I should not name the name but the girl was we at the bus stop and the guy yeah. was waiting for her over there and he doesn't want like doesn't let her to leave take the bus home oh my god so I think yeah. at that point I think it's 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 really I think you can call it you can call the police really a uh, restraining yeah. order it's, yeah, it's or, scary yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. you just don't get the sign oh my god that's actually damn rubs yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, I like I understand the need for closure, mm. but I feel like closure that you want versus closure that you already have yeah. are mm. two different things. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. she can already say I'm not interested, and you're just like 
like, that's not the closure that I want. Yeah, like, yeah. you're supposed to give me a, a different type of closure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that's not fair, right? Yeah, it's not fair. That's right. Yeah. I mean, yeah. to this day, you know, that guy is still texting. Like, like keep forcing. She even used, like, the mum phone to text. That's terrible. Like, oh, it's really terrible. crazy. Oh I'm God. really, wow. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to help her, like, mm. honestly. Just ask honestly, her to ask her to file a yeah. police report because yeah. it can get dangerous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Could just go down your house. I mean, she even know where my friends stay. That's even scarier. That's scary. Yeah. Yes, yeah, like I have this friend, right? She is a very, very distant friend, la, mutual mm. friend. But she, I think she broke up with a very toxic boyfriend. Right. And because he knows where she stays, right? Mm. He would just wait outside her house. Yeah, wow. And then one time the mother was in the window. Uh, uh-huh. He sent her a photo. He made like a fake telegram account. Right. Sent her a photo of the mother. Oh my Jesus. God. In the window. That's so scary. Bro, that one, like, you need to file police report already. <laughs> yeah, that yeah, one, yeah. terrible. Like. Out, yeah, yeah. Okay, honestly, right, for anybody listening, if people say that they don't like you anymore, Please heal in your own space and heal mm. in your own time. Mm. Closure is what yeah. you make of it. Mm. You don't need closure from somebody. Yeah. You can literally yeah. just make up your own closure. The fact yeah. that they don't want to give you the closure you need, right? Mm. That's enough closure. Yeah. yeah. Just move on already. Yeah, yeah, just move on. Like don't make it worse for them. Yeah. Like, especially if you have like good memories with someone, right? You don't want to tarnish all of it with like shitty memories of mm. black yeah. magic curses. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. 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 Man. It's scary, yeah. It's, it's crazy. Yeah. Okay, then from yeah. Emman Lim Yao. <laughs> <laughs> story time, sorry. Mm. I say I will contact you again. I don't think this is valid too. It's just to be honest, like if you're in a relationship and then if you want to like dump that someone, <laughs> mm. will you ever say like I will contact you again? That's I, like you yeah, won't I say this kind it, of thing. It's right? not really a closure. Yeah. Yeah, it's, not a clo- it's not a closure, yeah, yeah. It's like I'm breaking yeah. out a few but I'm not. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like which one you gonna I feel like if you do that to someone you're damn selfish. Yeah, I'll contact like, you again. I don't like you enough to keep you in my life, but I wanna yeah. keep you on hope. Yeah. Or maybe like yeah, yeah, just yeah, yeah. treat it, treat them as a second option. Yeah, or like ego boost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. ego boost. Yeah, yeah. yeah. From Ham Bao Bao Boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, McDonald's yeah. fan. Okay. So you said uh, when they stopped replying you as fast as they did last time, which was already mentioned. Mm. Then only Vincent dot C dot W dot L. Okay, see, what you say was no love, no love. Don't understand, bro. Meaning, I think no affection. Yeah. No affection. You won't even be together. In the yeah, I think yeah. you can feel it if the love yeah. starts dwindling exactly. down. Right. Yeah. You can feel one. Yeah. So from Sosoyo, she asked, "What is this about?" My close friend, so she was talking you shit. Oh, she can just <laughs> reply to the story. Yeah, <laughs> so, let's move mm. on to. I okay. So for me, I think uh, the first entry, which is quite a quite a disgusting entry for my friend. Uh, his name is his, his girl name is called Rich Muscles. So it's it's a spam account. So it's it's yeah. So he says uh, he says I eat ass during lunch, but ass eating time is usually dinner time. So mm-hmm. from what I understand is what he's huh? trying to say is <laughs> what. Basically, Basically, uh, a change of schedule, a change of habit, uh, you know, is is a subtle sign that you know you're gonna get dumped. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Do you agree with it though? Okay, it, it depends on on the context as well. Mm-hmm. If, yeah. If on a on a day itself, right? You uh, okay? I'm gonna give you an example of uh, you have a yoga class at eight p.m. <laughs> every Monday, and and so happened this Monday, the the timing has been changed to maybe two p.m. Yeah. You no, know, I think it happens. That week, then yeah, you could. I would say it's not really fair to say that you're gonna get dumb. Yeah. But uh, say in that week itself, though. right? There are many changes to plans and stuff. But yeah. you say, okay, let's meet up. Uh, like, you say movie movie night is uh every Wednesday mm. at eight pm, mm-hmm. and then say, oh, I'm not free because I have uh, I have something else to do. You know, like uh, I'm busy. Like, okay, sure, mm-hmm. fine. And then next week it happens again. You know, then mm. I think that's that's more or less a sign <coughs> that something's wrong. I feel. I think it's only sus if they don't like tell you properly yeah, what happens. Yeah, 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 like if I have, oh, like I'm meeting a friend. Mm. Mm. Like okay, for example, like yeah, you're supposed to meet up for movie night, right? And yeah. Then she's I'm busy. Okay, she doesn't tell you if she's busy. With what? And the next thing is, next thing you see is that she's on a uh, IG story. She's with friends and all that. I'm like oh, yeah. oh yeah. I mean, yeah. but if she said beforehand like, hey, uh, my friends really want to meet up tonight. Yeah, it's so it's, hard to plan something. That is fair. Yeah. That's that okay. That fair. But if it's, if it's communication, <laughs> yeah, yeah, communication. Yeah. So I think that yeah. that's what it really boils down to communication. If it's, if it's out of nowhere, like if it's if she's with someone who you've never, never met before, if it's that's a guy, us already. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. That's that's like a red flag in mm. your <laughs> yeah. mm, mm, mm. Like I uh, like let's say the guy that she met wasn't even anything. Like let's say it's really genuinely just like a colleague or a friend, right? I feel like. You wouldn't want your partner to feel insecure. Like mm. you would know that okay, I, my partner probably already feels bad that I already like 
cancel plans with him and then he will see this like how would he feel like I think right. I should tell him first right, explain. like yeah like maybe I should like mm-hmm. give him a bit of reassurance yeah. Yeah. you know it's about mutual respect yeah. guys yes. like mutual yes. respect I agree, I agree. Yes, yes, yes. yeah mm. yeah so, so okay and then I think the next uh, next response from Geo Jason is that they get busier I mean, mm-hmm. it's related to what we just spoke about. Mm-hmm. Get busy all of a sudden. Mm-hmm. Again, this is also very... Quite think, extra. Yeah, like, yeah. it depends on your phase of life also. If, say, your partner is getting ready for maybe uni, of course she's going to be, or he's going to be busy. For sure, yeah, for sure. Yeah, mm-hmm. definitely. You know? yeah. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I mean, but but I think on the flip side is that if, if you have nothing to do, mm-hmm. you know their schedule is usually like this, mm-hmm. right? And then, yeah, they get busy. Lots of things happening. Then I think yeah, it's a bit suspicious. Actually, yeah, like, everything's come, everything mm-hmm. come down to like communication, lah. Like, if you were like, yeah, yeah, already sure, explain to sure. her like, what you gonna have it, have this weekend or whatever it is, mm-hmm. like why you getting busy mm-hmm. and all. Then yeah, just tell tell her or him properly. Yeah, then, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Everything will be fine. If yeah, you, everything is like properly like. Actually, I think you can also like plan yeah, how you guys want to like communicate, how mm-hmm. you guys want to work mm-hmm. things out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's very important also. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I feel like if you have like systems in place to really mm-hmm. like. That's something that adheres to both of your schedules. Mm. Can is can one. Mm. Yeah. Everything is possible. Yeah, anything is possible. Yeah, is possible. Like possible. I really feel like love is about permanence. Like mm. I know a lot of people say like, oh, love is not enough because mm. you still need like effort, you need time and all yeah. that, right? Mm-hmm. But if you really love someone, right, mm. all of that comes together, right? Mm-hmm. Understanding right. is very important. Uh. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure, for sure. Yeah. Communication, yeah. all of yeah. that. Yeah. It all comes down to it. Yeah. Mm. yeah. And I think, yeah, so the next one as well from okay, I, I don't know how to pronounce my friends. Username, it's H X L C Y O N D. I don't know how. Uh-huh. Yeah, Al Kif, right? This, this is your Instagram mm. account. So <laughs> he says, uh, longer and even longer turnover reply rates from the other person with a with a yawning emoji. Mm. Yeah, so I think uh, basically longer replies, you know, uh, yeah. being MIA yeah. know, without a reason, I think, is mm. also a, is, is a sign that, yeah. Yeah, it's a sign, yeah, it's really a sign. So I think, and also yeah, next one by Gavin, distant and cold replies, mm-hmm. same thing. Same, same thing, thing, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And then uh, Che Hong Kai, your partner grows distant. Yeah. Mm. Also, so you, see, you see the trend here, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm. And then the so last like one posting. from Ethan is 10, my brother, he <laughs> takes a dump on your bed. Yeah, so. Oh my God. Okay, yeah. Ethan. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> if, if that happened to me, I'll just run, run away. Bro, I call IMH straight away, bro. <laughs> hey, what the fuck is going on? I'll just story it first and say, <laughs> who took a dump on my bed? That's <laughs> crazy. Yeah, my my God. Yeah. Um, so one of my very, very best friends, she, her username is Yumni Amir. She said they stop communicating their needs, which mm. I think is a very, very true thing. Mm. Because like personally for me, I feel like if I stop telling you what I need in this relationship, mm. what I need for us to work, right? It means I really just gave up on you already. Mm. Yep. Yeah. Like for all this time, you never listened to me, you invalidated me. Mm. There's no point in me telling mm. you anymore. Yeah. I'm tired. Right. Yeah, tired. Yeah. yeah. Important ones. They want you to um, okay, Even so... A dumb one. <laughs> <laughs> really, they will cut it. Okay, so <laughs> J-A-K-Q. Mm. One of my best friends, he was like, the convos drift and change. So like, inconsistency. So one thing I find quite gross about modern dating is that people think inconsistency is hot. And I understand it's exciting, adrenaline rush, whatever. Yeah. But I feel like when you grow older, right? Yeah. When you grow older, you start appreciating peace. Yeah. <laughs> you start appreciating mm-hmm. stability. But like, yeah. I mean, inconsistency sometimes is fun and exciting. Lah. Yeah. But, but I mean, like you have up and down, up and down. Like, for sure. I mean, for, for age, sure, if yeah. we stay like very like, like one straight line, right? The relationship, boring, I feel yeah. it will get like boring over time. Stagnant. But mm. more of like up mm. and down, up and down. It will. It's like more exciting and like you will feel, you will, you will get different feeling every time, lah. Which oh, is yeah, good yeah. and bad. Like, yeah. like it depends on like, stuff like that, what yeah. you want also, like, mm. Actually, like for me, I wouldn't want a like straight line. Right. I want my relationship to be up and down, up and down. Mm. Then you will feel like very exciting feelings, like. And also, you can get to understand them better. But yeah, 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 correct. Because yeah. when you correct, fight, correct. you yeah, can yeah. actually like understand both yeah, yeah. parties. Like, oh, mm. actually, I did this wrong. I right. can like maybe mm. like change for a that's, better. That's why yeah. I have a friend who yeah. he like he likes to do this with uh, his, his girlfriend who she he likes to ask uh, controversial questions. Uh. Mm. Uh, like, say example, you you guys could have different beliefs in the like in politics and stuff. Mm. Yeah, and then he will try to challenge her. To, mm. You know to stimulate the mind, you know that mm. kind of stuff. Mm. So I think it's it's things like this that can help, uh, mm. you know, not keep the relationship so flat. Mm. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. Like, like what you said, right? Actually, like you say, uh, like if like you did something wrong or whatever, then it's like the down part, right? Yeah. Mm. So you get to understand her better. Yeah, then yeah, yeah. over the long True. run, 
like there's only like more ups than more downs. Mm, because you so guys yeah. really understand yeah. like yeah, how you guys can make like, things yeah. better. And you all learn how to like maintain yeah. the ups right, also. Right, right, right. So yeah, for like, sure. I think it's like very like it's a, it's a good thing uh, like mm. to like actually like have the down part then you understand mm. like it's a very, yeah. very yeah, it's point. common to fight lah because yeah, if you don't point. fight I mean can, I mean can be a good thing also but yeah. can be also a bad thing because you guys don't know like the depending level. on like what you fight over yeah, like yeah. let's say cheating cheating is definitely a no yeah cheating la. is definitely yeah. a no you can just run bro. Yeah. Yeah. Just, <laughs> just run yeah, yeah. it's a red flag already like, if, like over small yeah. small things then like you'll get to understand her better and mm. everything will eventually like fall into place mm. lah yeah. I don't so, I don't think it's like the intensity or the frequency of the mm. fights. I think it's more like how you handle the yeah, fights oh, and yes, how you yes, treat yes, each other yeah. during the fight. Yeah. That is the important part. Mm. Yeah. That's the important part. Correct. Yeah. Mm. But I feel like the up and down thing, because like there's this manipulative tactic that's like um if you really wanna get someone to be very, very into you, mm. what you do is you love bomb them three days in a row yeah, and then yeah. for another three days you like be super yeah. distant and then for another three days you love bomb them again and then they'll be like that's, it's a legit that's, tactic. Yeah, yeah. That's really sick in the yeah, yeah, that's it's toxic, more yeah. That's exactly toxic, yeah. it's like and then people yeah. are like and then people would like you would be consistently like put in and out, in and out, you know. And mm-hmm. then you would consistently crave that high again. Mm-hmm. It's not very good for the mental health. Actually. Yeah, exactly. It's not, it's not good for the other party's mental health. Like. It's yeah, not good yeah. for any of them. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. what is going on here? What are you achieving here? It's terrible. It's hiring. We are ready to be in a relationship. Exactly. Right? Yeah. yeah. Like I've been in a relationship where it was like very very unstable, mm. but it was super fun, eh. That's like, your, that's your friend, uh, like the one huh? that you said, like manipulate the other person. Oh no lah! That was just um, oh. a TikTok that I saw. Oh, I saw a TikTok. I have never used it before. Yeah. I saw a TikTok. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so yeah. I was in like a very very unstable relationship, and all my friends could see it. I was miserable, but I was having so much fun. Mm. It was like we would like do all the political debates and shit also, oh, yeah. and it was so insane because I'm like very. The good one is left, right? I was very leftist. Okay. Yeah, and he's very rightist, you know. So it was like consistent fights there. Eh? So okay. I was like, hey guys, I'm getting smarter when I'm dating him because like, I have to like fight him, you know. <laughs> <Debate>. And I, <laughs> like, I feel like a debater, guys. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah but yeah. I realized, right, like it's really about the way he spoke to me also during those fights. It's like the lack of respect. Mm. Yeah, like I feel like you can get ups and downs in a stable, peaceful way mm. that doesn't sacrifice respect. Sure. Okay, yeah. Yeah, for yeah. sure, for sure. Okay. Any more? Any more, any more? Oh, I'm done, eh? Everyone was answering to everything else <laughs> after this review. Yeah. Okay, then let's move on to Daniel. Um, mine is um, by the NNYSMN. I don't know how to pronounce that, lah. But they, it says like um, them being distant. Most right, of the yeah, things that we've trend. already yeah. said already, yeah. like ghosting yeah. and stuff like that. Mm, right. Yeah. Yeah. Then um, another one is um, by um. El Nonisako. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when they stop peeing in your mouth, wow. <laughs> <laughs> when they stop peeing in your mouth. Oh my god! Wow. Stop. Yeah, oh, we go shower. Stop. Stop. Yeah. I think that's more yeah. of a preference thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah like I think co- communicate yeah. your kinks, guys. Like, communicate you don't want to pee in my mouth, so you yeah. wanna dump me. Dump me. <laughs> Oh my I, god! I think yeah. Wow. Well, wait, wait. Okay. Literally, yeah. yeah. I don't know. I think it's, it's just a joke. Shower, okay, I think it's just. I think it's just a joke. <laughs> I think it's just sure, a joke. Right? Honestly, sure. yeah. Mm. Y'all wanna go on a personal level? Like, what do y'all do? Sorry. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what do y'all do before yeah. you dump someone? Like, what are the signs that you're looking for? I don't have experience because I'm the one always getting dumped. Oh, yes. You can talk about the other side of the experience then. <laughs> like, what what will you do if you want to dump someone? I will. You will. I will never dump someone. Yeah. Then you got the signs or not? Yeah. Have yeah. you like face the signs? You like? for me is, I would probably ask for uh, like maybe a break. Mm. You know, like uh, to really think think, about think things it, through. Yeah. Like okay, if because you've been talking to this person every day for the yeah. past how long? Mm. Mm. So you need for me. I I need a few days to. To be by myself, yeah. to come, you know, to gather my thoughts and say, okay, is this really a decision I want to make? Mm-hmm. You know, and mm-hmm. how I'm gonna also how I'm gonna uh, bring bring across the other party. Yeah, Which I think it's very important because if you don't craft it out properly, right, it might it might uh, overthink. Yeah, overthink yeah. and say, oh, is it a me thing? You know, yeah, that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. And then I think once I'm ready, I say, okay, uh, let's let's meet up and talk. Mm. Yeah, it's always uh, okay, but I would say. Back in secondary school, it was a different thing because I I had I was not aware of all this, you know, dating and all that. So, yeah. uh, I think one of the worst ways I ever did break out with a uh, with, with uh, girl back in secondary school was 
over text, which I think I still, terrible at you. Yeah, I still <laughs> over text. Like, kind of, I still yeah. beat myself oh my up God. over it. The girl would get scared. Yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I, I, if I, you're listening I mean, right now, I hope you're okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm really my sorry. My God, I Jared. Yeah, I was I just mean, a 15 year old. So we're gonna apologize on Jared's behalf. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was yeah, that was pretty bad. And then uh, the other times, I think it was just I became, uh, I think I became distant on purpose. And then to the point where they just said, okay. Uh, that's yeah. not that's not a good way to. Yeah. Yeah, I love This was in secondary school. Just clarifying. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this like, one. I was not an asshole yes. anymore. <laughs> I, I learned from my experience. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, relationships yeah. do teach you a lot. Yes. Not just about people, but about yourself. How many exes do you have? Back in secondary school? No, like. <laughs> right now? Just secondary school? Not a lot. I mean, maybe three, maybe. But all is like you dumb one. Uh, it was most, uh, most of them are mutual. Okay, one of them sort of cheated. Oh. Yeah, it was a pretty, pretty bad experience. How dare you? Yeah, oh like my God. Uh, I mean, it was back in 2018, I mm. think. It was during Imona, if you guys know. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so basically, like me and her, we were on and off, um, and we even said we were seeing each other for quite a bit. And that mm. was a period where uh, I think she was busy with uh, A levels and stuff. Mm. So we didn't, uh, we didn't really talk much, but. So eventually she was done with her with yeah, her exams. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then we said, "Oh, you going to Imona?" So yeah, I'm going. Oh, yeah, let's meet. Yeah, sure. So I went there. Uh, then I was I, I still remember I was at Tanjung Paga Station, right? Mm-hmm. So I was waiting for my friends to come. Mm-hmm. So I was waiting. I was waiting. Someone, someone tapped me behind. I turned around. It's her mm-hmm. holding oh, wow. this guy's hand. <gasps> yeah, what? I was like, what the actual fuck? I was like, yeah, I was like this, oh, hey, that's terrible, eh? <laughs> like, uh, that's fucking horrible, eh? Like, oh, hi, this is bro. So, so I'm like, okay. I was, I, fuck. Yeah, I was so I was, I was really I was really pissed off. Wait, wait, were y'all like curling at that point of time or like No. We were just uh normal. meeting up like normal. We were just okay, so we were talking. You yeah, know? yeah. But there was a period where there was a period where she was busy with uh with A levels. Uh-huh. So, busy with A levels or busy with a guy? Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so there's a part two to this which, which oh is quite funny. God. So after I saw that obviously I was really pissed, but I I didn't obviously I didn't want to overreact. So I just said, mm. okay, okay, see you see you guys inside. Then they were holding hands and walking around, you know, like yeah. So my friends came. That's a slap in the face, bro. But you have to overreact, right? She's your girlfriend mm. and she, she's holding okay, her. Wait, were y'all yeah. exclusive? We were not, okay, we were. Okay, so we, we did everything, almost everything uh, a sort of couple did. But you're like, exclusive or not? Um, okay, we didn't say exclusively. Mm. Yes. Okay, you gotta so, establish yes, okay, that. But at the, start, really her, at the yeah. start, she did say that um, we said. Okay, we can't get together now, but after I'm done with Ace, yeah, we will get together. Mm. So this is what she promised. Uh-huh. Oh my god. Okay, that's that's a different story yeah, altogether. Yeah. So yeah. I remember that too, you know. Yeah, mm. yeah, 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 that's a different said, story. Like, I don't see this, you know, we could, so I'm like, okay, sure, I don't mind. Yeah. Yeah. Or just then, casual, yeah, then yeah. Exactly. So for that happened, I was like, of course I was pissed. Mm. Then, yeah, you have every right to yeah, be. Yeah. And then at mm. the and then remember we were queuing up uh to go to enter the club and then he Wait, was he was Did you go to Imona alone then? No, I was with my friends. Okay, okay, my then friends came Like it'll be so sad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and you're just yeah. like, oh, oh my god. I truly emo, emo like, yeah. truly fucking emo yeah. tonight. <laughs> the <laughs> pure <laughs> emo. Yeah, no way. But yeah, so I was queuing up, the guy was behind, and then I turned around and I, I actually was really curious as well. I was like, okay, how do you meet? But I think my friends were pulling him back because they thought I was gonna you know, like whack him or something. Mm. So I mean long story short, um, eventually the next morning I cut her off everything, mm. leave everything. She even messaged, she even said, uh, so what happened that night? So you like, what? Well, no, no, how what oblivious happened. can you be? Yeah, right. Like, do you not realize how stupid can you be? Like yeah. how much of an asshole message. you are? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> what so, the fuck? Yeah, so and then uh, funny thing is two days later I was in Orchard, right? I was uh-huh. I was more or less really over the whole thing. Like I, I two days later. Yeah, because okay, it was a long term thing, right? So mm. it's yeah. building up thing. So that's okay, like okay. finally exploded. Mm, mm, in fair, that's fair. That's so fair. So I was like, okay, I'm in peace now. So I was in town. I was walking. I was like, okay, what are the chances of me bumping to them here, right? You manifested it. Oh my god! You manifested it, man. Lo and behold, I turn to my right. I see them sitting oh, on the steps. Oh my god! You know the, the ones yeah. outside, uh, mm, Ion steps. Oh, the uh, grand ones. Yeah, as no, Tiffany and Co. and all that. Yeah. So I saw, I saw them. I just, I just looked at them like. Okay, ciao. No, I just went. But it's good that you're in a better place now. Mm. Right? For sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Leaf and yeah. done, right? Leaf and done. Yeah. And yeah. stronger, I guess. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, for sure. So how about you? you <laughs> um, how were you like? I was in this long-term relationship and it was like, one year we were together in real life. The second year, it was long distance. I feel like I wouldn't want to blame it on long distance because long distance, they do work. It does work. It's just about, it's just about your needs and like your love languages and stuff like that. And then I just, I wouldn't say I got bored 
God because that's a very asshole thing to say about someone that you claim to love, right? Mm. So like, I, as much as I want to say I got bored, I just feel like when you fight over the same thing again and again or if like the same disagreements or like things that you used to find quirky or like cute annoyances mm. start to like piss you off, mm. like I think that for me is a sign to like, like you need your own space really. And right. honestly, I... I don't think it was anybody's fault. Like, it's not like they did anything to piss me off more. It was just, I feel like sometimes you grow. I mean, everybody is growing, but sometimes you grow at different paces. Mm. Mm. And if your paces just don't align, it's okay to like, just break up. Yeah. Mm. But I was a bit, I wasn't being a bitch about it. Like, I was just like, a bit more distant. Mm. And like, I think because it was long distance, it's easier to just say, oh, I woke up late. But <laughs> in reality, I'm like, just not texting want, you back. Don't want, don't want to text you back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and I feel like nice. that's a sign already. Like, mm-hmm. if I don't even feel like texting you, I cannot do this anymore. Yeah. Like, why would I force myself, right? Yeah. But it's really hard uh, to be in long distance relationship. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah, it's. I think in the past, it's. I don't know. The past is easier. Like back in our back in the eighties, back in our parents. Time. Back in the eighties. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why is it easier yeah. now? Because now we have like yeah, FaceTime and shit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, as in, I feel like now, yeah. Granted, as we have uh, face technology, but I think there's yeah. even more factors come into play. Because there's dating apps as well. You're yes. coming to play. Mm, yes, yes, mm, yes. And you never know, like, the other party will go to, like, you know, long distance, right? They will find, like, they get bored. Yes. They need mm. someone to. Yes. Like, yes. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've, I've known some friends who do that. Yeah. But I just don't. I don't confront them. Mm. It's their own business. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I feel like the the presence of dating apps, it, it definitely, it doesn't make cheating more proliferant. It just makes it easier. Like, I feel mm. like if somebody wants to cheat, they will cheat. Yeah, 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 it yeah, doesn't yeah, matter yeah. what dating yeah. apps. Even if there were no dating apps in the world, if yeah. they want to cheat, yeah, they, they, will they will find a way. They will find a way. They will find a way, yeah. 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 You wear your story. Okay, uh but you, you, you know how I dumb or not I don't dumb people la, but it's just more like <laughs> I <laughs> um like just tell them I'm not interested. So it's like I will, I will just say why I'm not interested in them uh, and stuff like that. We will like talk it out. Mm. Yeah. So usually that's how we set how I settle like not getting into the uh, proper the clean, relationship. The clean, yeah, 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 the clean way. La. But you proper guys la. you guys believe that such thing as a clean breakup. Mm. Clean breakup, I see. Like both parties like, just go along the ways and yeah, just like honestly, yeah. Yeah, can. Yeah, I feel like can. Can is can. Yeah, yeah I also like don't can. have beef. Just like you know, you guys talk it out. Mm. Then after that, you guys are in good terms, but mm. you guys don't talk anymore. Mm, mm. Yeah, kind of thing. That's my favorite type of breakup. Eh. Mm. Good la. The toxic yeah. ones are the ones that are. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. Like unfollow each other Instagram and stuff like oh, that. Oh, I cannot. I cannot stand much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I actually, actually yeah. Yeah. unfollowing each other Instagram is isn't toxic. I, I would I, say like. If you need your space, like, yeah, cause yeah. Yeah. you still love you still love her, right? Then obviously you don't want to see you her. Don't want to see her. Don't want to see her. Then just mute her yeah. stories lah. Oh, okay. Take yeah. no, note. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, I mean, for me, for yeah. me, I do that. Like, mm. if I really wanted to really remove like, her, from her, her yeah. no, if it need be, unfollow. Yeah. Actually, yeah. that is also quite good for your mental health as well because you yeah, want to right. keep focusing on her because you are already in love with her. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. even even say keeping her, uh, if you don't unfollow her, right? Like, you know the account is still there. Mm. Mm. Sometimes, when sometimes you uh, go and yeah. search for her, right? Oh, yeah. you took her picture. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, then, then it yeah. goes on and on. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, la, so just communicate, la, you know? Yes. Yes, yes, communication is key. Yeah, like, communication is key. Is key. Yeah. <laughs> Even though it's very cliche, but it's like it's really true. Right? It's, it's so true. true. The yeah. older you get, the more you realize, yeah. right? You, you need just to gotta talk. talk it out. Yeah, you know. mm. Yes, yeah. yeah. Mm. Yeah, and like, let's be fucking real, right? Sometimes late replies also because like you don't know what else to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, cannot yeah, be yeah. every single day you got very interesting topics, yeah. what? Yeah. So yeah. like, right. yeah, I yeah, love. Yeah. This is the conclusion, yeah. Huh? We're going there. <laughs> oh, yeah. we're, we're building oh, up to yeah. it, Javier. Javier, we're building up to it. God. This is the conclusion, la. <laughs> So okay, so one key takeaway for everyone watching this. No, the most important key takeaway, like from all of us. Oh yeah. <laughs> Are we gonna say it together? The <laughs> most important key takeaway is communication. communication yes. Is key. Communication is key. Yes, yeah. you heard it. Yeah. Yes. All right, guys. Thank you so much for all of your entries. We read every single one of them, and thank you so much for listening to the first ever episode of Hash It Out with scouts if you want to listen to our full conversation check us out on spotify please, please like subscribe and share and remember to follow us at oh, scouts underscore talent that's right yeah all right bye-bye, bye-bye. <laughs>